Yo, howdy, howdy, howdy. What's happening? What's happening? I'm late as all get out. Uh, for good reason. Can I, can I, can I explain myself? Before you get mad, before you start throwing shoes at me, can I explain myself? It is my brother's birthday, okay? I wanted to spend my brother's, a little bit of my brother's birthday with him, okay? Is that alright? Uh, oh, well, am I a bad guy? <laughs> I'll allow it, okay. Alright, well, there we go. Anyone who's upset, you gotta, you gotta talk to Kirby. Because he said it's okay. Had the best nap of my life. How long did you nap? How long was the nap? Anytime I've had a good nap, it is, it's always like two, three hours. That's like the perfect nap length. Actually, wait, Kirby, what are you doing here? I thought you had to close tonight. Uh, did, did the, <laughs> did the flooding <laughs> change your sky? I, I mean, I guess it would have, right? Maybe I just misunderstood. Which, uh, wouldn't that be a shocker? Well, I'm happy to see you here. I'm not saying that as a, like, oh my god. Alright, well... <laughs> I guess we'll try and do a good stream tonight, even if Kirby's here. Not saying it like that. Store manager need to switch. She forgot about doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. Nap was an hour and a half. Okay. That's a good length nap. Was it was it one of those naps where you like woke up and were like, I have slept for a thousand years. I every cell in my body has been recharged with the power of a thousand suns. Was it a nap like that, or was it the kind of nap that you wake up and you're like, mm, that was a good, that was a good little nap. That was, I, that was sleepy will boy. That was a good will nap. Do you feel powerful, or do you just feel like, uh, happy? Dude, I don't know what's going on. My best naps are always also completely covered head to toe. Don't know where I was. <laughs> Face directly against the wall. <laughs> just awake. <laughs> I just imagine you <laughs> waking up like nose pressed in up against the wall like, oh. <laughs> that sounds like a good nap, man. I also I sleep up against a wall. And there are there are mornings I wake up like that. I wake up and I'm like, oh feel like I like the whole night I someone just like steamrolled my face. And I wake up like whoa. whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, okay. Well, I'm glad you had a good nap, Kirby. Sorry, I was, um... <sighs> I, I had Twitter open to, to, you know, tweet that the stream was live. And I saw that Super Mega was trending. And I'm like, oh, I like Super Mega. What's going on? Oh... Uh, not good things. I will say I don't like Super Mega anymore. So I was just exiting out of that. Um... Hi. I'm here. So, yeah, I, I wanted to spend some time with my brother. Sorry, I totally blanked there. That was wild. I wanted to spend some time with my brother, you know, because it's his birthday. And so, uh, he had never seen Goodfellas before. And that's a top 10 movie for me. Ma top 5, maybe even. Um, and so, he was like, would you want to watch that? 
uh, like maybe after your stream or and I was like now you can't proposition me with good fellas and not expect me to immediately jump on it so we did that I ordered Chinese food for him and I watch good fellas and I'm like okay I'll do a whittle stream I'll stream for uh, you know maybe maybe I'll stream to like 10 10-ish. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a short one. We'll see. Unless it's like a crazy good stream. In which case, I'll keep going. But I would say don't expect this one to be absolutely packed. Don't expect me to break any of my records with this one. This is just going to be a nice, a nice little stream to hang out and talk. Maybe play a little Zelda. Just, uh, just hang out. Just, just have a nice little time. Um, I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. Not by too much, but by a little bit. So, you know, we'll see how that pans out. I, uh, I got some stuff for you. Not tonight, but I worked on some stuff today. Uh... You'll hopefully see either tomorrow or next week. I, I hinted about it last stream. There's some new stuff getting added to the BRB. You haven't even seen everything that's in the BRB. Uh, maybe you have. Maybe you have. More is getting added to it. There's more. Um, I got more videos to add. So, and it, uh, straight up to um, to talk business to you for a minute. Adding that stuff to the BRB has been great. My viewer retention during P breaks is. I'm not losing viewers during P breaks, so now I can piss whenever I want. Now nothing can stop me. Chat complaining. I take too many P breaks. I don't care about what Chad has to say. But the financial destitution caused by people leaving during pee breaks, now we've uh, you know, we've quelled that. So now I can I can piss. I could do a whole piss stream. We're not there yet. If the BRB video ever hits three hours, I will do an entire piss stream. I'll just leave for an entire stream. But anyways, so, um, yeah, I've got a couple things done and I was going to put them in the John, get them going, but I'm waiting on one other thing. I'm waiting on a video message and, uh, we'll see how this one pans out. We'll see what happens with this one, but uh, I'm waiting on that and then I can... Put it all together, and you'll have even more content to watch while I'm taking a piss. Anyways. Uh, you guys ever seen Goodfellas before? I'm, like, going back and forth on topics here. Uh, you guys Goodfella heads. Like I said, that's a top five movie for me. That was... Maybe the first Scorsese movie I ever watched. Was Goodfellas, and I picked it up. It was a it was a ten dollar Blu-ray and like a Walmart bargain bin. Jesus, like twelve years ago. And I picked it up and watched it, and it blew my mind. That was the first Scorsese movie. That was the first like mob movie I ever watched. First time I'd ever seen De Niro or Pesci. That thing like. <clears throat> formed around my brain and so um it became my civic duty all throughout like my high school years to show people that movie all throughout my high school years i'd be like hey you seen goodfellas no what is that coming to friday after school come over to my place we're watching goodfellas and so i must have straight up dude i must have watched that movie like close to 20 times 
I, I watched that movie a lot, and I would constantly show it to new, new people. And some people would walk away from it and go like, wow, that now that was a good movie. That was a good movie. Some people would walk away from it and be like, I don't know what happened during that movie. And then a lot of times, like more times than should, people would walk away from that movie and go like, that was too violent. It's a, it's a mob movie. The violence is r relatively realistic. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to help you with this. You know, it's like people go and see movies and then they're like, I don't, ooh, too much sex scene. Hey, fun fact, in real life, people have sex. You know, it's just like, I, I don't know, grow up. But I guess I was, you know, I'm a teenager showing it to teenagers. So, like, I couldn't expect everyone to, to I won't say, like, be on my level of maturity. That's not true. Like, I'm not mature. But I guess I should have expected that not everyone was into seeing a, a blood. I used to show all my friends Billy Madison. What was the general re reception? of Billy Madison among your friends. Did they walk away from it and go like, what a, now that was cinema. Or did they walk away from it and go like, I, that was okay, I don't understand it. Did they walk away and go, uh, too much gore. W Billy Madison too gory. Everyone loved it. Okay. One of these days I'll watch it. Uh, I saw it when I was a kid. That's true. I did see it on cable when I was a kid. But the only things I really remember are the Chris Farley stuff. Remember the Chris Farley stuff? And then Billy Madison... Uh, I remember the Chris Farley stuff. I remember um, the dad. I remember... Adam Sandler's dad is played by... Um, I could picture in my head. Kolchak, the Night Stalker. Um... James Darren. Right? The dad in a Christmas story. James Darren. Doesn't he play Billy Madison's dad? I don't know. He was old and white. Okay. <laughs> Billy Madison. IMDb. Sorry, not James Darren. Holy shit. Darren McGavin. James Darren is a singer, I think. Jesus. Darren McGavin, yeah. Um, so I remember Chris Farley stuff. I remember Darren McGavin. And then, isn't there a thing with, like, a penguin? Doesn't Chris Farley, like, dance with a giant penguin? Or is that a different Adam Sandler movie? Isn't there a thing like a guy in a penguin costume? Chris Farley penguin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah, Billy Madison. Okay. Um that's what I remember about the movie. He's not sold as a guy in a penguin costume. Right, but it it, it, it but it, it's a movie. And I don't I don't want to spoil this for you. I don't want to ruin the magic. It's a guy in a penguin costume is the playing the penguin. I don't know if you know that. I don't know. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Starts tearing down Billy Madison posters. This can't be real. Oh, isn't um, Steve Buscemi in the movie? Isn't there like a joke with Steve Buscemi where he's got like a list of people he's going to kill? 
scene I remember the most in the movie is when he goes to the teacher's house after he fucked shit up while he's drunk. And she's mad and he goes, oh, I see what's going on here. So sorry to interrupt. I got no idea what you're talking about. We'll do um, we'll do a movie night sometime with Billy Madison. The penguin waves and has a martini in his hand. What's what's like a good movie to pair with Billy Madison? What's a double feature? Uh, we could do Billy Madison. Happy Gilmore. You know what? I've never seen Happy Gilmore. I've seen Punch Drunk Love. We're not... <laughs> that is not going to be a fun double feature. I've never seen Happy Gilmore. We could do that. We could do uh, Hubie Halloween. We could do Little Nicky. Oh, that's the double feature, I think. Billy Madison and a little Nikki. That, you know what? That'd be fun. That would only make me want to kind of die afterwards. So that's good. Even as a kid, I hated little Nikki. I remember little Nikki came on like TBS or something on the Saturday afternoon. And I watched like half of it. And I was like, this isn't funny. This sucks. I stopped watching it. All I remember from that movie is uh, I think Rodney Dangerfield is in it. And there's a guy with tits on his head. So. Watched Little Nikki last Christmas. Was it good? Did you enjoy it? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll do we'll do a double feature of Billy Madison. We got to do it like it's 1997. You just got home from Blockbuster. What movies did you rent? Billy Madison. Billy Madison and Tommy Boy. My deadly duo was literally Billy Madison and Toy Story. We could do that. We could do that. I'm always down to watch Toy Story. See, I never I never got to go to Blockbuster enough to have like these are the rents. I think over, from what little I remember, over the course of my life, I went to Blockbuster maybe like four times. And then they were gone. One time we rented uh, a tape of the Incredible Hulk cartoon from the 90s, and it was fucked up. Didn't get to watch that. Uh, one time... We rented some Muppet Show DVDs and Spider-Man 3. That was cool. That was the last year that we did. That was like 2008, I want to say. Um, Because we did that and then we rented games. And I've talked about that before. We rented Destroy All Humans 2 and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. And we got to keep all of those for a whole summer. But we played on the PS2 so much that it heated up and cooked the inside of the DVD player. Because we didn't have it. We had a PS2 and a DVD player. I don't know why we didn't watch DVDs on the PS2. Don't know. But yeah, it like cooked the DVD player. So my dad just started punching it to get it to work. Did not work. Uh, never got to watch those Muppet Show episodes. And that's haunted me to this day. But uh, honestly, outside of those two times, I don't really remember what we rented. But I know that we went there like a couple more times. 
But I was too young to, like, remember anything. Honestly, I have more memories of renting tapes from the library than Blockbuster. Which kind of makes me a phony. I do walk around wearing a Blockbuster t-shirt sometimes. So it does make me a phony. But I remember going to the library and renting, like, Pokemon tapes, Scooby-Doo tapes... I remember we rented Superman the movie one time when I was staying with my grandparents. Um, And my grandpa was like, you should watch Superman the movie. You'll like it. And I, all I remember is the opening. All I remember is the scene where he flies next to the train and there's the little girl waving at him. I remember that. But... I don't have a lot of tape rental memories, but I have a lot of memories of being in Blockbuster, if that makes sense. Like, I don't remember what tapes we rented, but I remember being in that place. I remember being in the Blockbuster when, like, Fantastic Four... Again, that might have been that last time. Because Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer was out and they had a big they had a big uh, like the Fantastic Four 4 display with the Fantastic Four next to it then there was a CRT in the center of it that was playing the movie but I remember uh, there used to be we used to have a Hollywood video and Hollywood video existed later than Blockbuster in our town I know family video still exists in places in America, but I remember the blockbuster shut down and then everyone was going to Hollywood video. And I remember people, I remember maybe it was on the news or in a newspaper. There was something where it was like, yeah, Hollywood video doing pretty good. Now the blockbuster has gone. It, this could, you know, Hollywood video could be around forever. And then it was like six months later, Hollywood video was gone. But I remember Hollywood Video had the game part of it that had like a different name. I don't remember what it was called. It was like the Game Zone or something like that. And I remember being really confused as a young kid because of the sign. Because it had Hollywood Video and then whatever the game one was. And I'm like, well, what's the name of the store? But I never went into Hollywood Video. I've never been into a Hollywood video. I've been into a family video because um, where a lot of my friends went to college. See, I live in a college town, but a lot of my friends didn't go to college here because it was too expensive. So where they went to college, which is was like an hour and a half away from me, they lived, no joke, down the street from a family video that was still operational until COVID. And then when COVID hit, it shut down. I once met, um, this is gonna, with how, like, sheltered (laughs) I am, (laughs) with how, like, unexciting I talk about my life being, uh, this is gonna sound like psycho shit, but I met, she was a regional manager for Family Video. I met her on a, on a subway in Minneapolis at, like, 2 a.m., Her and her friend were, like, blackout drunk. And so we just got to talk. Like, we were waiting for the the subway. And it was, like, me and two of my friends. We were waiting for the subway. And they just started talking to us. Because they were fucking, like, blackout drunk, dude. And so we were like, okay, we'll talk to them. Like, to make them feel comfortable and everything. And so the one woman was like, yeah, I'm, like, a regional manager for Family Video. Uh, And this was, I mean, this was like 2015. And so we were like, there's still family video. There's still video stores. And she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Midwest, we kill it in the Midwest. Big numbers in the Midwest. And it was like, that's crazy. That's nuts. And then her friend threw up. But (laughs) they were nice to talk to and uh, got interesting insight into the family video How family video still exists. 
I would love to know if there's still a Holly. There's probably not a Hollywood video still around, right? Is there still a Hollywood video? No, they were gone. They are done. 13 years ago. Done. It was a kid. Superhero stuff didn't really get me, but I did watch Fantastic Four because Jessica Albert was in it. Hey. Okay. I would say that was the second sexiest person there. Number one was The Thing. That started my love of The Thing. Seeing that movie when I was a kid, I loved it. I'm not a Marvel guy, but I love Spider-Man, and I love The Thing. I love The Thing. Do you think you were the only person she ever talked to that was interested in her job? <sighs> no, surely someone else would be interested in her job. But I definitely think I was the most enthusiastic person. Because <laughs> I was like, what? There's still video rental stores? <laughs> like, I was really interested. I'm sure someone else was interested. But I might have been the most interested. I don't remember what her friend did. Her friend was way drunker, though. Her, like I said, her friend threw up. Her friend, like, had taken her shoes off and was, like, barely, like, you could barely understand her. Her her speech was so slurred. So my one friend, uh, who was very, very much like a Papa Bear mentality, was like, hey, we're gonna, he's like, is it, okay, uh, is it okay if we stand closer to you guys? And the one woman was like, yeah, of course, why? And he's like, you two are very drunk, and I just want to make, like, I feel like if we look like we're all here together as a group, people aren't going to think, like, oh, like, I, we can steal these women's purse. Uh, if we all stand together as a group, it looks more like, you know, someone couldn't run up and steal one of your purses or something. And they were like, oh, that's so nice. You guys are so nice. Oh, thank you for being so nice. And I'm there like, um, so what is the most uh, rented video and family video? <laughs> like he's, he, I took, I take a lot of notes from him. I love the hell of that, dude. But it, it is like, at the time, you know, at the time I hadn't even graduated high school. I think I was 17. And I was way more interested in family video than like keeping these women safe. Tell me they feel more safe when I'm at work and that makes me feel nice. Dude, that's the nicest feeling in the world. Uh, I am, I'm the friend, I'm the guy friend who goes out with the, the group of girls just to be, uh, what do you want to say? The protection, the, the bodyguard, whatever you want to say, right? Like I, I go out with group, my group, groups of friends and you know, it always happens like that. I, I feel like. It always happens. You can go out with a mixed group and it always kind of ends up like the guys are over here and the girls are over here, right? Like it always, it always just ends up like splitting up like that. And I'm always the one who is either like going back and forth or I hang out with the girls group. Not because I got problem with the guys, not because I'm, not because I'm a little beta cock. Okay. But I'm always the one who like, if if some if someone some dude usually is being a fucking creep, I I like to insert myself and I like to go, I like to uh, kill Bosch things. I like my female friends to feel comfortable when they go out and have fun because I know that that is uh, sometimes very hard to do. I know that that is not easy. And um, a lot of dudes back off. You, you know, I'm short. I'm a, I look like a beta. <laughs> but you, people will back off if there's just someone there, right? So, um, I, I like doing that. Um, 
And, like, I I've been told by female friends that, like, they appreciate it. I've been told that I make them feel safe, and that's nice, and that's great. But really, I don't, I don't necessarily do it for them. I do it for my own peace of mind. Because, like, <laughs> I'm too anxious already. I don't like going to bars. So I'm too anxious already. And so it's like, okay, I want to make sure that there's no, like, drama time. Like, I want to make sure that there's no problems. So I am going to be... I'm going to get in the line, you know? So... Um, that's a good feeling. It's a good, it's a good feeling. Um, and I know, I also know when to back off. Um, I was worried that I wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't want to conk block my female friends, you know? <laughs> but, uh, I've, I'm pretty good at knowing when to back off. I, I'm decent at reading the situation. But I think that's also helped with, like, I don't, drink that much I don't drink that much because I've got I've got too much anxiety so like I'm a good person to have around because my anxiety is so high uh, I am someone that like the plan gets triple checked that if we have to meet up with someone if things you know I I'm the person all right I'll text them and I text them 10 minutes before we need to you know like I um I don't, I can't really, I'm not super flexible as a person. That's one of my big flaws is I'm not super flexible. So I use that to my advantage. Same with the anxiety. I use that to my advantage as like, okay, we got to like triple prep everything and we got to make sure everything's good. We got to get this. We got to make sure this is done. This is done. Uh, I'm not someone who, uh, I, I make sure the plan is as clear and concise as I can make it. And I make sure everyone is as happy as I can make them. So that maybe my anxiety will come down a little bit enough that I can enjoy myself for a minute. So, um, yeah, sorry, that was a tangent. But yeah, I, um, I like being that person. I like being, again, because it's hard to listen. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a woman. Surprise, not a woman. But I, as far as I can understand it, by uh, you know, from my experiences of speaking to women, you run into a lot of fucking creeps. You run into a lot of fucking weird dudes. And especially when alcohol gets involved, it makes them weirder. It makes them creepier. And so, um, if you can have that barrier, you can have that bouncer. It makes things a little better. So that's, I like to, I like to do that. I like to take that role. Anyways, uh, the name of the Hollywood video thing that I was talking about is Game Crazy. It's Game Crazy. Um, and so we would drive past the Hollywood video in Game Crazy and be like, what? Which, what store is it? I was so confused. Be good or does this guy need to go? Um, I do, I ask, are you good? A lot. If there, if there are outside forces, <laughs> there's out, if there's people, if there's guys I don't know, um, you know, I'd let them talk for a little bit, but after a bit, I will subtly, I don't, uh, stick my head in. Hey, you good? Do, I fought a guy like this before. I don't do that. But I go like, hey, just checking in. You good? And then if they're good, you know, I'll mo I, I don't hover around. I go, okay. I go over to the guys or whatever, you know. I think it's, you know, you got to know how to walk that line. 
Because I, I think you can also... I think if you insert yourself like that without it being, like, fine, without it being good, without knowing, without let you got to let the girls have fun, you know? And so if you're, like, hovering and inserting yourself, like, then you become the creep. Look, look across the store, I'll call their name. Give me something out of that. that nah, that's smart. That's smart. Doing that at work, that's very smart. And then you go you go up to the whoever's being a creep. You go up and go, uh, hey, bud. Hey, you we got a problem here, bud? So like chest pumping them out of the store. You gotta assert you're the alpha male. <laughs> there was one time, man. There was one time where there was a dude. Um, I was out with some friends. Again, like hour and a half away, this other town. We went to like a dive bar, and everyone was having a good time, and I was doing my thing. Like I'm floating back and forth, because I knew most of the girls, and most of the girls knew that like I'm, that I, you know. I, I, uh, I'm also good at passing along messages. I also do that. I'm a little gopher. I'll, you know, talk to one of them and one of them will be like, can you tell my boyfriend like this? Yep. I'm a boss. Hey, uh, she said this. Oh, okay. Can you tell her this? On it, boss. Uh, anyways. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to one, talking to people, going to the other group, talking to people. And there was a guy who I, I don't think, I don't know if they didn't know him, but it was like no one wanted him. None of the girls wanted him in this, this social circle. And he was talking, he's like, well, you know, people in this bar are afraid of me because I'm an alpha and, um... We exude t testosterone and confidence, and, the, and so people in here, you know, while I'm here, no one's gonna come up, cause I'm an alpha, so they're afraid of me. So if any, what, what, it was some fucking line about like, you know, because, cause I'm the alpha, like, if any of you wanna go home with me tonight, like now's your chance before I move on or it was something like I'm gonna block all the other men it was you know f fucking psycho Jesus Christ garbage and um I just I did my little gopher thing <laughs> just showed up it was just like standing there and he was like what do you want what do you want and I was like hi how's it going hi uh, I just want to talk to her uh, I said her name. Uh, just needed to talk to her for a minute. He's like, oh, oh yeah, what about? Uh, her, her boyfriend has a message. Like, I just did the thing. I, uh, this is like with, with fucking, I don't know, crazy people and shit at work. I do just like flat and flat and serious and I'm not here to have a conversation with you. You know, if people come into work and they're crazy, I'm like, oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, have a good day. Thanks. Just make myself sound not engaged with them at all. And so I was just doing that to him and he like called me a beta and uh like made fun of my height and I'm just standing here like oh okay okay <laughs> like I just stood there I don't I didn't like I didn't fuck punch him and then everyone clown I just stood there and looked at him just just like he was crazy. I just stood there and went like 
Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> and he was like, he, it, like he just kept talking about being an alpha male and everything. I was like, okay. All right. Okay. All right. And what, like one by one, like the girls who were at the table just, just started filing out to go to the other table where everyone else was at. And I'm just standing there like, okay. Oh, all right. Interesting. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, interesting. Uh, I just kept doing that until finally he just left. <laughs> and I was just like, okay. Interesting. <laughs> and then I just went back to the other table where everyone was. Like, it's one of... I'm not aggressive. I'm not... Uh, I'm not an alpha male type. Um, but I don't, <laughs> I don't, I deal with crazy people constantly. I deal with people insulting me constantly. So, <laughs> like, for me, it's just like, okay. And people can't take that. Like, people want to fight. People want to get you mad. People want an interaction. They want engagement. And if you just don't feed it to them, a lot of people just, like, shut down. Or, or they get angry. They either get angrier and they f assault you. Or they shut down. And um, nine times out of ten, people just shut down for me. But Real Sigma male shit? Yeah, that's me. Four foot six Sigma male. Okay, that's not, I'm not that short. I'm not that short. I am not four foot six. I'm not four foot six. Four foot six and a half. Oh, okay. All right. But yeah, I just, um, again, like I'm an anxious person, but when people are actually like dickheads to me, I can handle them. I just tap into like mega 64 mode in my brain and I just stand there. I'm just like, okay. I just let them react. But, um, that, you know, that, that works most of the time. Anyways, um, I don't remember how we got here. My point is, uh, where's the closest family video? Let's see. Oh, January 6th, 2021. Family video is shutting down all remaining stores. Oh. So that's it. Like, uh, familyvideo.com is still up. Are the careers? Can I get a job with Family Video? Hold on. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Let's see. Click on the links below to read about more opportunities Family Video has to offer. Job descriptions. Okay, that goes to a 404. Testimonials, 404. Advancement, 404. Benefits, 404. Community improvement, 404. FAQ, 404. Apply today, 404. Well, fuck me. Now what am I going to do? That was my dream job. I wanted to become a regional manager of family video and meet that lady again. Go. Do you remember me? Do you know me?
Anyways, you ever get in a fist fight at a family video? You ever uh, beat someone to death with a hammer in a family video? Try it sometime. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. Uh, we could we could probably like boot up Zelda now. We could probably like play Zelda for a minute. Zelda, not Disney Illusion Island. Is that out? Is it good? I mean, I'm not playing it tonight, but it looked okay. It looked like uh, Rayman uh, Origins. GI gave it an 8.5. Okay. It, it looked like Rayman Origins, so it, it could be probably fine. Rayman Orgy. Oh, that was a different game. I mean, canonically, Rayman is a huge cock, so... That's real. Look up the Rayman 3... Magazine ads. Rayman's got a giant cock. Nicki Minaj is coming to Call of Duty. Uh, where are we dropping, boys? Let's go to the beach each. <laughs> That's the only Nicki Minaj song I know. Did she? Yeah, that's the only one I know. Um... Uh, did did she do wet ass pussy? Was that her? No, that was Cardi B and Megan The Stallion. Yeah, I knew that she had beef with Cardi B. Uh, well, comparing the one Nicki Minaj song I know, which is that. Let's go to the beach each. Compared to WAP, I prefer WAP. Sorry to the barbs. But I do think Wet Ass Pussy is funny. And that one beach song, um, I don't know. Oh yeah, what were we doing? I... I we were fighting this guy in a thunderstorm. Uh, does um, does Ice Spice have a new song out? The YouTube amp on my brother's PS5. The featured video was Ice Spice Deli. And uh, I gotta be honest, I like the name of that. You have me interested if the name is relative to the premise. I am interested. I bet it has to do, I bet it's in reference to phallic imagery. 
That's my guess. Because, like, meat. They got meat at the deli, so... I don't know if you know that. It's not? Oh. Well, that seems like a missed opportunity. Okay, let go. She a baddie. She showing her panty. She shake it like jelly. Haunt it. Bands in chainly. But I'm still shaking ass in a deli. What? That's what the song is? Oh, that sucks. I thought she was going to like make, uh, I don't know. I thought it was going to be like a bunch of like phallic references with like uh, Italian meats. I wanted her to do like a song where she, she says like Gabagool. She says, give me the salami. Give it to your mommy. Yeah, I wanted to say gobble the Gabagool. I wanted her to say, I'm gobbling Gabagool. I'm slurping the salami. Uh... Uh, uh, God gave you this dick and thank you to your mommy. <laughs> yeah. Cardi, call me. We can, uh, we'll fix the song. Oh, wait, not Cardi. Ice Spice. Call me. We'll fix it. <laughs> we'll make it good this time. Okay, get my horse. <laughs> Just strap him on. We're not going to do anything elegant for this son of a bitch. He doesn't deserve it. Hog tie him and drag him. Hey, speaking of, uh, that Red Dead, the the rumor that Red Dead remake is more and more likely by the minute. Today there were some big little drumps. And I'm definitely overdosing on copium over it. Why are there there's wheels here? Why? But it's funny because even the people who are like, guys, it is real. Guys, check this out. Evidence. It's real. Are also like, have no idea what they're talking about at the same time. Like I saw someone going like, so uh, what we're seeing here is the game will be called Rockstar Presents Red Dead Redemption. Could it be that Rockstar, all the remakes and remasters from this point forward, will be called Rockstar Presents? Instead of the definitive edition, and then someone went on uh, that uh, all Rockstar games that aren't Grand Theft Auto are called Rockstar Presents title. It's not new. That was that was on the original. I'm looking at the poster right now. It says Rockstar Presents Red Dead Redemption. So it's one of these things where, like, I'm so hopped up on copium, I want it to be real. But then, like, the people who are leaking it are saying things like that, and it's like, I don't know. What is real? I can't say. Uh, 
Oh, it's raining. Oh, fuck. Good. Yeah, Rockstar Presents. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Does it mean Rockstar Red Dead Redemption Remastered SP? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yup. What does the SP stand for? Special. We gotta figure out what the Game Boy Advance SP stood for. And then we can figure out what Rockstar Presents Red Dead Redemption Remastered SP stands for. Oh my god, Tulin. Tulin with a save. Nice. They remaster the multiplayer? Oh. That would... Okay. That'd be great. Um, I love that Red Dead Redemption multiplayer way more than like GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Like, I liked those, but the game modes in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer, I loved way more. I don't remember if Red Dead... Red Dead Online had some like missions and game mode stuff, but I don't remember ever having as much fun. As I did with, with Red Dead 1 uh, multiplayer. Like, riding around on my little donkey. And just fucking around with people. I mean, it was like GTA 4 multiplayer. And I loved that. A lot. I had the buffalo mount. This guy was a god gamer. God gamer. I just remember having a lot of fun with the... Was it at the start of every match? You had the shootout? Right? Wasn't it at the start of every match? You all stood around in a circle? That was so fun. I doubt that they'll remaster that, though. I doubt that that comes back. If they're going to do anything for the multiplayer, they'll maybe do something with Red Dead Online. But they, um, they've abandoned Red Dead Online, so I doubt that. How are you not dead? RDR RSP Red Dead Redemption Remastered Single Player. Uh, uh maybe. Remastered Social. Uh um Progression. Remastered Sony PlayStation. It's a PlayStation exclusive. Oh my god, we cracked the code. Oh my fucking god. Uh, Scott Pilgrim. Oh, my God. John Marston, if you want your family bank, you, you'll have to fight Abigail's seven evil exes. What? <laughs> I can't do a John Marston impression. I don't think I've ever heard a good John Marston impression. Because it's such a like... that Just hearing that voice hurts your throat. 
Oh, oh, oh. Right? Like it's. Oh! Jack! Hey, Jack! What are you doing, Jack? <laughs> Like, I, I can't do it. I've never heard a good impression. Arthur Morgan. There's a hundred good Arthur Morgan impression. There's a hundred good Dutch impressions. But no John Marston. We gotta stop talking about Red Dead. Holy shit. Holy shit, I wanna play some Red Dead. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Fingers crossed. Do you think... Let, let's say that gets announced. Uh, let's say that gets announced August. Do you think that's coming out this year? I feel like if it exists, it has to. Because GTA 6 is supposed to be next year, right? That's what the leaks say. Ow. Feel like it's got her. Which is going to make this year even crazier. Unless it sucks. Unless it's a shitty remaster. Unless it's a fucking Grove Street Games. Hack job. Which I don't think it will be. I think the fact that they had issue refunds. The, the fact that Rockstar had to give back money on those. Um, I, 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 I think... They're not going to be of that quality again. Oops. But you never know. It is Rockstar. I'm not... Listen, the Hauser brothers sucked ass, right? Like, like Rockstar is a tremendously bad um, uh, company culture, right? So I'm not defending them at all. But now that all those people are gone, I think it'll be interesting to see how things go. Because, like, the Hausers wrote all those games. For better or for worse... So I think it'll be interesting to see how all of that pans out. But it's something, you know, uh, we I think I've talked about before on the stream of like we're we're in like a post satire world. Satire doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> and so like a GTA a whole series based on satire Right? It's whole flavor is satire. I I don't know how that'll work. I don't know how that fits in. In 2023, I don't know how that'll work. I want it to work. But I, I don't I don't know if it will. But that's just my two cents. I don't know. Maybe it'll be so freaking epic and funny. 
Oh, fuck. Maybe it'll be so freaking funny. You know, who knows? They're gonna have like a Donald Trump parody named um, Ronald Trump. And that's gonna be so freaking funny. I mean, think about this. The game, I think about how long the game's probably been in development. Think about how much the the world has changed. Like, even, let's say it entered development in 2018, right? Let's say they put Red Dead Redemption 2 out before they even thought about making GTA 6. Think about how much the world has changed since then. Like, can they really uh, do a satire? Any Tulin, you just, you fucking idiot, Tulin. I just don't know, man. I'm real interested to see this one. Oops. I fucked up. Sorry, my boss called. More flooding. Bad news. The store's filled with water. And the AC stopped working. So it's hot water. Stop. Stop. Tulin. Tulin, get him. You got him. You got him. You got him, Tulin. Tulin, get him. Tulin, get him. Tulin, 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 Tulin. Tulin, Tulin, get him, Tulin, get him. I'm scared. Okay, just aim. Good shot. Uh oh, Tulin. Oh, this might help. Uh, no, I can't use the shield underwater. Okay. This won't help. She can't find her key, so she's changing the core. Oh. I mean, what do you mean the core? Oops! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus. Did I drop the hammer? Where's the hammer? The actual lock you put the key into? Oh. So she can't find her. So she's what? Rekeying the whole store? That's a bummer. We only have two locks. Yeah, I've got. We have one on my store. But to get that lock changed out and to get all new keys, it was like relatively expensive. Anyways, all I was saying while you were on the phone was I don't know how a GTA 6 will work because of the satire. Like, even if they if they started the game, if they started development of the game, the moment Red Dead 2 came out, right? Like, let's let's say even if they started it that recently. Think about how much the world has changed since 2018. You know, like... Uh, uh, I feel like whatever they write is going to feel like it's 40 years behind. Because that's one of the many problems with, with modern satire. Is everything's moving so much faster than it, it used to. Everything is so fast. So... Oh, 
Oh, we can just use this. Oops. Oh, okay. Two idiots. Oh, they weren't my shield. Uh oh. Buddy, can you put down your shield? Can your shield break now? Oh, no. <laughs> I always feel like that, though. I feel like they always do a decent job. Uh, we'll see. I don't... I think it's gonna be weird. I mean, without the Housers and everything, and then with Satire being in the state it is... Uh... I don't know, dude. I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be a very different experience, for better or for worse. Hopefully for better. I just think we live in an, uh, a time where it's near impossible to satirize the things that people have always satirized. Oh my God. It's hard to satirize politicians because they're, we, we know that they're all decrepit ancient mummies. Like, what more can you say, you know? The only thing that you can really satirize is the average person anymore. And that's not very funny. At least not the way GTA would do it. You know, like... I... I just think it'll be interesting. I'm not saying it'll be bad. But as I'm saying, as someone who thinks satire is is pretty close to dead, um, right now, I, I think it'll be interesting. Um, I haven't seen a single fucking chest this whole time. I actually think I'm doing this for nothing. Oh, yeah, female pro tag. That'll be interesting. I'm interested in that, but... Even then, because wasn't it, it was like female pro tag, or it was dual pro tags, right? Like, one's a female... Wasn't it like one is a Latino woman, and then one is like a conservative, like, Florida redneck type? Um, that could be interesting. That could be interesting, but again, like, we gotta, gotta see how it plays out, because also it's one of these things are like, okay, uh, the Florida redneck guy... Like, obviously, they're going to do funny satire with him, but, like, uh, like, how, uh, how, how do you make that funny? We're just in such a different time. I mean, it's been a decade since GTA 5 came out, but we're in such a different time than that. Like, uh, I don't know. It's, um... Crazy times. Huh. I think it's hard to um, do satire anymore. And I think it's hard to I don't think gamers are willing to uh, uh, hold on. I don't think gamers all camps capital G gamers are going to respond to either character. 
I mean, the the Florida Republican, maybe, but but the moment that they make jokes about him, they would be like, no, no, actually, he's really smart and cool. But, like, you know, for me personally, I don't have any interest in playing as, like, a racist. <laughs> you know, like, that's not a game I would like to play. And I just know the discourse is going to be, like, shitty. You know, like, you just know that the discourse already is going to be, like... They should have made him more racist. You know, like, it's just... I'm, like, already tired about the discourse of that game. And it isn't even out yet. <laughs> okay. So we'll see. I mean, it's for sure a day one pickup for me. I love Rockstar. Um, but I think it'll be interesting because I think they have to do something new. I think they have to be completely different this time. But I don't think the gamers want completely different. So I think it'll just be like really weird discourse. Really uninteresting gamers pissing diaper discourse. You love Rockstar by Nickelback. No. Just happy I will not work at GameStop. Now that's, you know what? That's a that's a good point. That is a very good point. Okay, so we were cooking that man alive, by the way. We were we were cooking him alive. GTA 5 both releases were nightmares. Uh, I'm sure. I remember going to the Red Dead 2. Uh, it was going to be a midnight launch, and then there were so many people that they were like, F fuck it. Here, 9 p.m. be here. It's like 9 or 10 be here. And yeah, there was like a line. Like I had never seen that many people at my at my local GameStop. It was insane how many people were there. So uh, I can only assume GTA 6 will be uh, like double that. So, all right. Chat, I'm going to throw to a quick... P break. I'm going to take a, a lightning quick P break. I'll be back like two, three minutes. That's the number four, four minutes. And uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep playing. It's 9 p.m. You're thinking is stream going to be over? Nope. We're going to keep going. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
Hi, this is Sean from Mega64. And if you're watching this video, that means my boy Mike, you know, you're, you're watching his Twitch stream right now, you're loving it, but he's got to go to the bathroom. Let him pee. You know, Mike's got to pee. This is the Mike pee break video. So instead, you know, I know that you're upset. You want to watch him stream on Twitch. You're, you're on Twitch like I'm here. I'm on Twitch. Why, why am I not watching Mike stream? It's because he's pissing. We're just doing a piss timeout. So uh, what I'm gonna do instead, you know, Mike, take as long as you need in there. You know, you, you don't rush things, right? So what we're gonna do is I got some burgers on the grill. We got some solid burger content. So everyone relax, stop yelling at Mike, and let's watch the burgers cook. Okay, that got boring. Now let's watch some skate footy. Okay, that got boring. Now let's watch some dog footage. Okay, Mike, you gotta be done. Mike, hurry the hell up. Okay, now we're gonna, crap. Now we're gonna watch some, here, now I'm gonna play some Zelda. Mike, where the hell are you? I'm panicking here, Mike. Okay, back to the burgers, back to the burgers. Oh, they're burning, they're burning. All right, Mike's done. Enjoy the stream. Shut up. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. What's happening? We're just, you know, we're just going to keep riding south. Is that, or no, what, west. Okay. Take the horse. We're going to ride west. West? East. No, this is west. No. This is west. Never eat sour watermelons. West. Uh, GTA 5, there were so many people that the pre-order system crashed and we couldn't pull a pre-order for a good few hours. Oh, good. So, do you just have to, like, hang around? Wait for it to come back up? So, if it... What time was launch? And what time did you... What time was launch and what time was it actually over? GTA 5 was midnight. We got out about 2 a.m. Yeah, that's... Uh... Open the next day. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good scheduling. What am I doing? Why am I trying to climb shit? This is Tears of the Kingdom. We clown in this motherfucker. Take your sensitive ass back to Breath of the Wild. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe I do have to climb. <laughs> to be fair, my boss offered to let me open or close. Okay. Would open so I could go home and play GTA 5. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. I remember, uh, again, when Red Dead 2 came out, it was like 10. They let us get our copies. And I had to be asleep 
Because I was still taking the bus. I should have been asleep at like 10.30. But I, I was a little naughty boy. And I stayed up till like midnight playing. Well, no, 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 no. Sorry. I stayed up till midnight playing. But the install took an hour. So I remember I did like the first mission. I remember I got to the cabin where you meet Sadie. And then I'm like, all right, I got to go to bed or I'm going to be miserable tomorrow. And then I, w I was miserable the next day because I wanted to go home and play Red Dead. It was that. And then um, I went to GameStop launch for Spider-Man 2. Or, sorry, not Spider-Man 2. For Spider-Man. For PS4 Spider-Man. And that one, straight up, they were just like, yeah, it's a 9 p.m. launch. Like, just get here at 9 p.m. Okay. And there was a big line, but it was just like, just sending us through. Yeah, that Spider-Man was a 9 p.m. launch. For sure. I remember that. I just kind of like rekindled a friendship um, with with someone who we were like, he was into making stuff. We, we used to make stuff together and then we had a falling out. And so we had just kind of like rekindled this and we were going to like do a podcast where he was going to host and I actually wasn't going to have to be in charge of something and I was really excited about that like I got to just be like myself instead of like focusing on the quality of the thing Not, I shouldn't say that instead of focusing on the structure of the thing right and so that was exciting so we we're going to do this podcast and and then like that week Spider-Man was coming out and so we went to get Spider-Man together and I like filmed a thing. And then like that next week we were supposed to record the podcast. And he was like, uh, I'm actually busy this week. Can we reschedule? And I was like, yeah, when do you want to do it? And he's like, oh, I'll let you know. And then I like didn't hear from him for like three months and then he was like hey are you still interested in doing that podcast and i was like no no i'm not if we're gonna like not talk for three months after you like being so excited to do it and everything no it, it was it was clear that like the issues that we had with each other initially were still there where, like, I was clearly way more, I don't want to say passionate, but I was way more, like, focused. I was way more, like, let's actually make this thing. And he was uh, way more, he was way more into the idea of getting famous off of it, while I was way more into the idea of making the thing. Um... And so we always just, like, clashed. And so it... Yeah, that didn't happen. So... But I remember we recorded one podcast episode. And I really enjoyed it. Because I wasn't in charge. And I really enjoyed that. Tremendously. I really enjoyed... Not having to like give, not having to focus on the structure or the topics. I really enjoyed like being able to just try and be funny, being able to just focus on jokes. And I was like, man, I would, okay, what was that? I wish I could, I wish this is just what I could do, but um, that hasn't panned out for me. Remember when I had a horse? I, I, you know. Excuse me. Oh my God.
I really don't like being in charge. I know that may come as a shock to you. You're watching this on the Funny Little Guy channel. But I, I really prefer being not the straight man in, in a duo. I really prefer not being in charge. I, I, I feel like I'm way better when I'm not trying to focus on, okay, is everything working correctly? Is everything going good? I really like being a guest on stuff. And I don't get that opportunity very often. But I feel like, straight up, I feel like that's when I'm at my best. Is when I just get to be like a goofy guest. But what are you going to do? Someday. Let's do a podcast where everyone is the guest. Um, No. <laughs> That sounds like, uh, let's do a podcast where we don't pay attention to quality. <laughs> and I, uh, don't want to do that because that's called just doing a podcast. That's every white dude's podcast. What do you call a group of white men? A podcast. Uh-oh, I made a fucky-wucky, didn't I? No, I've uh, I've done enough failed podcasts. I'm good. I've done enough podcasts that never panned out. One more. Ah, oh, you gotta do one more. Maybe someday, chat. I just have so little interest. Can you fuck off? I don't want to do, um, I just don't want to do a podcast. I don't, I'm not a big podcast guy in the first place. And, um, I just feel like I, if I'm doing a podcast, I want to bring something new to it. I don't know what that something new would be. So I'm, I'm good. Recorded. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. It's, I missed this. I did a podcast once and hated it because the people I did it with didn't care as much about audio quality and wanted to record it over phone. Jesus Christ. The first one I did was when I was a kid. I did one when I was like 16 called, uh, was it Five Guys No Brain? And to our credit, we were kind of on with some stuff of, like, all of us having audacity and, like, syncing our shit so we could have the best quality recording. Like, we were kind of on with that, which was cool. But, like, it's a bunch of, like, 15 and 16-year-olds talking about games. Like, it was not good. And then there was the first Fudge Films podcast, which is called the Vud the the Fudge Boys Video Podcast, or the Fudge Boys Vodcast, and that was the one that I liked the most. But it was still a matter of um, a lot of clashing egos. Mine absolutely included. And a lot of, like, just weird teenage drama. Like, we were just out of high school. 
But there were there are some things in that that I remember really enjoying. Like there was one where we all dressed up and did a, a fake wedding ceremony where I married Fudge Films. Um But it was just it was just clashing egos, man. Um What the fuck is that? Then there was the second Fudge Films podcast. Fudge Films presents the greatest show. The great no, the greatest podcast on earth. FFP GPE. That's right. Um, and the the th goal with that one is the only thing that I could think to make it interesting, which was treat it like an anthology radio show. Every week, something different. Every every. Every episode, something new and different. And, um, I don't know. Good idea. Pretty piss poor execution. And then, uh, in between those, there was, I don't remember what the name of the podcast was that my friend had. That I was a guest on. And then there was the podcast we were going to do, which I don't even know if we named it. If we did, I do not remember what the name was supposed to be. But um, it's a shame because th that friend of mine, who I still consider like a friend. It's just I don't think we're compatible as creatives. Um, but that friend of mine, very charismatic person, very charismatic, uh, absolutely could make a splash talking about games if they had just stuck with something and they never did. They always moved on. If something wasn't getting views they always just quit and that really infuriated me because it was like well that's the reason I I don't make shit for the views right like I, <laughs> I cared about the views I would have given up a long time ago right so it always like again we always just clashing egos they always wanted to just do thing play things really safe and really like mainstream and popular and I always wanted to do shit that was so um there was a reason no one was doing it right um but it was interesting to me so we just we just clashed we never we never really figured it out and then they moved away after we we weren't going to do this podcast they moved away and it's kind of hit. I haven't spoken to them since. It's a shame. It sucks, you know? But I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, well, can I say, like, I would have been uh, a. a if we were to talk right now, would I, like, have the time to welcome them into my life? Uh, like, I want to say yes, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I think we're just two different of people now, you know? But I can't say that for sure because I don't know them anymore. And they don't know me anymore, you know? I'm a very different person than I used to be. So, um, we're just kind of like two strangers, you know? If we were to talk now, we'd have to start all over, you know? It's life. 
I would still like to do YouTube stuff. I don't want to be in charge of anything. I just want to be there. <laughs> you want to reap the rewards. You want that YouTube ad money without having to do any of the work. Typical liberal. Sad. No, I get you. It's, uh, I don't know. Uh, I love editing. I like doing video editing a lot, but I'm not very good at it. I mean, I could get a video th across, but I can't do like super in-depth After Effects stuff, you know? But... It's, I don't know. This is very much just my hobby. Like, I want this to be my job. But, um, this is very much my hobby. Uh, and it allows me to connect other hobbies to it, you know? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. My point is, give me money on Twitch.com. Thank you. Guys, if we hit my sub goal of 35 subs this stream, I'll, uh, I'll call up that old friend live on stream. And it'll be the most painful, awkward thing you have ever watched. Thank you. I think it's got to go in there. But I don't know how. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Wait, how am I in it? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, let me out, let me out. What the fuck? No, no, no. Got it. I want to do a stream where I try to solve a Rubik's Cube. Just one. I've never been able to do it before. If I win the lottery, I will gift $100,000 of subs. Well, Twitch will love that. I figure my living expenses are 17000 a year. So if I can make 17000 plus 40% for taxes, I could do this full time. And that's living a comfortable 
That's like living the current life I live. I can I can shrink that down if I tighten the old belt buckle. But I don't it'll never happen. Donate a hundred thousand to you. Um, how much is the lottery? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, only a hundred thousand? <laughs> oh, that's scraps. <laughs> well, you have to give the other five million nine hundred thousand to Ice Spice. Kirby, okay, you win the lottery. You can use your clout. You can use your lottery money clout to meet one celebrity. Who? Ice Spice? Pink Panthers? Me? <laughs> Aubrey Plaza. Okay. <laughs> What'd you do? You go to meet Aubrey Plaza. And she goes, oh, you're the guy who won the lottery, right? You go, um, yes. Yes, ma'am. And she goes, yeah, that's, that's pretty sad. That's pretty pathetic and sad. That's what I... Oh! 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 <laughs> you would come to pant. Okay. You ever think that you're sick? <laughs> you ever think that you shouldn't think like that? <laughs> no, I know it. Okay. All right. I'm I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm eating so much raw meat. When is Link gonna get a tapeworm? When do we get to do tapeworm RP? Okay. Jesus. Jesus. We're getting my ass handed to me tonight. <sighs> I think this is gonna be another Zelda stream. Of zero progress. Nothing gets done. It was actually, I, I was thinking about not streaming tonight. I was thinking about just skipping out. And then tomorrow, just playing Final Fantasy 16 as per the plan. And just skipping Zelda this week. Uh,. I was like, no, but I want to play Zelda. Like, I know we're not making much progress on these streams, but I just, I just enjoy running around and talking to chat. Like, I, 
It's okay if we don't make much progress. It's a good do shit and talk game. Absolutely. Absolutely. What the fuck? What is going on with that like like? Oh, you know what would help if I put like good armor on? Wait, 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 wait. Do this one. Okay. Show me your ball. Oh. After watching Goodfellas, I think I'm going to get into cocaine. That's my takeaway from that movie. I could get a lot more shit done if I was coked up the whole time. Think about how good... Listen, my best streams are me when I've had an energy drink six hours before. Think about how good my streams would be if I was on coke the whole time. Oops. What were, what if you were Pepsi'd down? Aha! Aha, my God. Sorry, I'm I'm a dude, dude. That guy's dead. I just think it would be cool if I got really into cocaine. There, I'll say cocaine so you, so you can't be the hundredth person today to make the Pepsi joke. I'm going to take all fun away from you. See, and I wouldn't, if I was, if I could just do like a couple lines of cocaine, I wouldn't be like this. I would be fun to be around. Twitch, please let me do cocaine live on stream. Please change the rules so I can do cocaine live on stream. It'll make you advertiser money. Pro probably. Listen, I don't know where to buy cocaine. I don't even know where to buy weed, okay? I'm in, in no danger to myself. I guess you just start asking people, right? You just start walking up to random people on the street. Hey, do you know where to get Coke? And they go, uh, why not Pepsi? And I go, oh my god! You did not just say that. I know a guy. Yeah, what's your guy's name? Is it Dr. Pepper? Is it Mr. Piz? How did we as a society let Mountain Dew go from a name for for moonshine to a sodi pomp? 
feel like we failed as a as a community. In order to fix this, I believe we should sell homemade moonshine at Walmart. Thank you. But that should be the only alcohol you can get at Walmart. Would you drink the Walmart shine? Where am I? Who are you? Who are you? There's definitely a shrine in here, right? I've just somehow missed it? Maybe there isn't a shrine in here. I've had moonshine. Was it good? No! Okay. I don't think there's a shrine in here. Maybe if I go up. Ouch, my ribs. Oh, oh. Maybe it's this way. If we can do one shrine tonight, I'll consider it a victory. Oh, there we go. I feel like that's so far away, though. From the one that I was tracking before. I, I don't feel like this is right. Oh, jeez. Okay, chat. Give me one second. I gotta throw it to a pee break again. Sorry. I'll be right back.
Hi, this is Sean from Mega64. And if you're watching this video, that means my boy Mike, you know, you're, you're watching his Twitch stream right now, you're loving it, but he's got to go to the bathroom. Let him pee. You know, Mike's got to pee. This is the Mike pee break video. So instead, you know, I know that you're upset. You want to watch him stream on Twitch. You're, you're on Twitch like I'm here. I'm on Twitch. Why, why am I not watching Mike's stream? It's because he's pissing. We're just doing a piss timeout. So uh, what I'm gonna do instead, you know, Mike, take as long as you need in there. You know, you, you don't rush things, right? So what we're gonna do is I got some burgers on the grill. We got some solid burger content, so. Sorry, Sean. Die. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ill. Getting those Turtles vinyls. Uh, the limited run games ones? No. For the most part. I'm not getting the one for Turtles 1. I'm probably going to get the one for Arcade. I'm probably going to get Arcade Manhattan Project in Tournament Fighters. But otherwise, I think I'm good on them. I don't need them for the Game Boy games. Turtles 1 has a really memorable soundtrack. But I don't like the game. And I already have Turtles in Time, the SNES version, on vinyl. And I don't... I don't feel the need to get the arcade version as well. I don't feel the need to double dip and get the arcade version. So I'm going to get uh, a couple of them, but I'm not getting the one that's available right now. Why? Are you getting them? Oh, we're so close. Nah, okay. They're cool. Like, I'm glad it's happening, but, like, I'm, like, good on, on most of them. I don't need all of them, but I'll get a couple, maybe. Maybe. Some Castlevania vinyls. Uh, is it the Game Boy Advance games? If they're putting out Castlevania 3 on vinyl, I'm in. Harmony of Dissonance. Okay. The other two, it's probably the GBA games because that's what they're putting out. A physical version of the GBA game collection. So. Oops. I thought that was a surefire win. Rondo Blood Vinyl? Yeah, that'd be dope. I, I, I feel like all of that stuff's so spread out now. I don't know. I, I feel like it just... I mean, a small handful of years ago, it was like, okay... Like, you go to this website for this, and this website for this, you know? Like, sorry, I should probably be more clear on what the fuck I'm talking about here. You go to, like, Fangamer to get the shirts. 
You go to like Mondo to get some soundtracks. And now I feel like it's so all over the place. I can't keep up with shit. What? Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, Mondo, Mondo said they were doing Metal Gear Solid 2. And that has yet to show up. I don't think it's happening this year. But also, uh, didn't... Uh, Mondo's been, uh, didn't Mondo, wasn't there, like, a shit ton of layoffs at Mondo? <laughs> oh, I was supposed to be in that, huh? Whoops. It was just the poster team? Oh, okay. You know, like I said, there's just so much shit. I can't keep up. And even when I do buy it, I, like, <laughs> haven't listened to it. I got, uh, from Mondo. Speaking of Mondo, like, it just reminded me months ago. I mean, almost a year ago, I think. I got... The Turtles 1 and 2 soundtracks? No, this was Waxwork. Sorry, this was a Mondo. This was Waxwork. I got these. I, I mean, I swear to God, like almost a year ago. They're still shrink wrap. I still haven't listened to them. And I don't, like, I don't regret purchasing them. These are definitely things that I would want. That I am going to enjoy at some point. But it's like... I, straight up, I forgot that I owned these. Until right this minute. Yeah, because they're like a dragon. 5 LP set in today. Oh. Ooh. I can't really think of anything I want on vinyl. Like, any game soundtracks or anything right now? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I would, I would get Pizza Tower on vinyl. Vinyl for me right now, I'm much more interested in getting old shit on vinyl. I want to get like some old country, some Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings shit on vinyl, some Dolly Parton on vinyl is where I'm at right now. Give me the halos on vinyl. Uh, that'd be dope. I bet that would sound good on vinyl. Oh. Hello. I don't know. 
just in general, chat, I'm like... I got no interest in buying a lot of stuff right now. I'm like... Out of room for a lot of things. Which I am rem remedying. But I'm like running out of room. And a lot of things I could enjoy digitally. Uh... I'm much more interested in investing in, like, hobbies right now as opposed to buying things. So, like, I'm interested in buying recorded off TV tapes or what's called uh, sold as blank tapes. I'm interested in doing that because my little side hobby on streaming is, is ripping VHS tapes, right? So, and creating commercial compilations. Oh, uh, we finally found Highland Stable? Holy shit, Pen. We finally found Highland Stable. We finally found Pen. Holy shit. Oh, man. That's crazy. I want to know what's in this tent. Um, chat, I might have to end the stream here pretty soon. My stomach... Uh, uh, I can't explain to you the noise I just heard from my stomach. I, this happens every time, dude. I order... I order... From, from this Chinese place that makes great food. But I always order their chicken wings. And every time I do it, I get, like, sick. And then every time I order the chicken wings again. <sighs> oh, the monster, monster control crew? Okay. Ah. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go that way. You said you might go to 10 and look at it. It is 10. I do want to go to 10.30. But I don't know. Next bathroom break. Next time I gotta take a bathroom break. I'm just gonna end stream. So I'm gonna try and hold out like 20 more minutes. But. Please do not hold... It against me that I did a short Zelda stream again. Please do not hate my guts. I really, straight up, I intended on doing a normal stream. But I didn't know if... Because my brother's not like a birthday guy. You know, he's, he's not uh, looking to be the center of attention. Like I am. So, I didn't know if he would want to do something to celebrate his birthday. Or if the thing he would want to do to celebrate the birthday is being left alone. I didn't know. Um, and he had initially said that he didn't want to do anything. And then he was like, well... I don't know. What about Goodfellas? And I was like, F don't, you don't even need to ask me a second time. We're, gonna, we're watching Goodfellas. So... Um, that's, that's why I was late. My brother's 29th birthday. That only, that only comes around once, you know? Pen. Hey there, partner. Uh, did you hear this way after, did you head this way after hearing the rumors? Without wings, you traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious reporter spirit. Uh, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here. But something's fishy. 
For starters, strange voices crowing from furrow plain to the northwest. Night after night after night. Leave their ooms. Leave their ooms. At least that's what I heard. I ain't get too close. Get out of there fast. Got out of there fast. Felt like a curse just blowing through on the wind. No, sir, not gonna think about it. Anyway, all the travelers who heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. They've been throwing their weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. Could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? It's not usually so haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner. Even if it is a little scary. Dope. Hey, uh, partner. You find this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Oh, not at all, not at all. Totally fine. Just worried about you is all. What I'm saying is, uh, I think we should investigate this story together. I think we should leave at night. I'll be waving, waiting right here. So just come and get me when night falls. Okay, all right, next stream we're doing the spooky haunted well. Yeah. You're a nomad. Suppose you've already heard, you've already seen the horses around the fair and grassland, son. Well, I grew up taming those horses. I've polished my riding skills till they shine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me. These days, putting my riding skills to the test isn't enough. Oh. So being the horse enthusiast I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me even further. And what is this contest exactly? Oh. Why, well, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. Oh, oh d uh, d easy peasy, let's do it. Oh, I gotta get my horse. Take horse. Uh, let's take Robin. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we're good. We're good. Okay, let's do it. I'm about to win this shit. I am the number one horse rider. I know all about horses. I have a cousin who legitimately runs a successful horseshoeing business. Okay. One lap around this prairie. And we can't let the car go fall. Okay. Easy. This is going to be easy. <laughs> one minute. Yeah, I can beat one minute. Okay, here we go. We're going to beat one minute. I think we just killed something. Oh, Jesus! We're good. No, no, no. No! Hey! I have a cousin in jail for math. Hey, I don't. No. Not that I know of, at least. I have a cousin who runs a successful horseshoeing business. I have a cousin who runs a successful uh, butcher shop. And, like, online meat selling. Uh, I have a cousin who's a volunteer fireman and electrician. Um, and then there's me. 
I have like three cousins who are cops. <laughs> oh. And then there's me. I I play video game online. I play video game online and say the word come to make three guys laugh. We're making good time. Oh, yeah, we got this. Under a minute. I win, bitch boy. You made it. Pay up. Beat my record. Whoa. Three... Dude, three free pony points? Oh, swag. Swag. Three more pony points? Oh my god. No. Dude, I just aced it first try. Other than the, the failure, but... Let's get those rewards. Main restyling service. Dope. And an additional horse ride. Okay. Okay, two more and we get a night saddle. Dude, we're killing it on the pony points. My meat selling is done on OnlyFans. Oh, like cock? Oh, like Purnus? <laughs> I do sometimes wonder, like, what what does my, uh, like, extended family think of me? Um, and, oh, my God. Oh, my God. My little pony. My little pony. Um, and I don't care. Oh my god. I'll stick with the floral one. That's what I had. I know that my parents have shown like my super religious aunt um the the uncovering what was the video called uncovering my lost home movies? And uh, that video has jokes um, about, like, Chris Hansen. So, I really wish they didn't do that, but... So, I have to wonder, like, what she thinks. Okay. Can I? I want to look at my quest log for a minute. A lot of side quests. Okay. Eerie voice. Got it. Uh, okay, we gotta go to Kakariko Village. Whole thing in the underground. I thought there was something about the giant haunts. The giant white haunts they just talked about. I don't know. 
But yeah, dude, like, I, I sometimes think, because, like, we'll show up to, to family gatherings. And, like, you know, I've got cousins getting married now. I've got cousins having kids. And I sometimes wonder if the extended family is, like, why are one... When's this guy gonna uh, do something? I I I think I feel like the extended family looks at me and still sees like a child, but that's because like to not be a child, I would have to like I got to do things they disapprove of, right? To be the the adult me. Um, you know, I, uh, I say cuss words. <laughs> uh -huh. And I wear Hawaiian shirts. I wear floral patterns shirts. And I think if, like, half of my uncles saw that, their fucking heads would explode. I think, I think if they saw that, they go, Does he have the gay? And I think their heads would explode. So... Um, you know, it is what it is. Think of me as a child. As a child. I don't care. Whoa. Whoa. Here it is. Here we are, guys. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Welcome to part one of my Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. Whoa. I don't even know where Kakariko Village is. It's like way up here, right? Jesus, yeah. Jesus, we've done like none of this. Oh, chat, we've still got, we've still got a good seven months of streams of this left. Okay. Check this out. This is I'm going to we're going to do a grand finale. This is going to be the grand finale. Ready? Check this out. This is about to be so freaking dope. Grand finale. Check it. <gasps> Check it. Check it. Check. Oh shit. Oh. We're okay. You do what I do and just don't beat it. Um. Well, I uh, I want to beat it. So. I uh, I like the game. Look at the blue horns. Hello, blue horns. What are your stats? Not good. Goodbye. Not as good as my haunts. Die. I shouldn't have done that. That was mean. I'm sorry. All right, chat. Uh, next, next Zelda stream, we're gonna do a, a buddy comp team up with Pen, buddy investigators of the haunted well, and then we're gonna head that way, ish, to find the monster mashers. But for now, I'm done. Sorry that this one's a little short. Oh, we got pretty close, though. Two hours, 35 minutes. We got pretty close. That's it for me tonight. Tomorrow, I will hopefully be back. I'd say very high chance of me being back. And we'll do Final Fantasy 16. And then Saturday is Discord movie night, so... Get your little patoots. 
in the Discord. I'll be here for both. That's actually... That's actually poggers. Finally, glad to see you're putting the right priorities first, okay? None of this job shit. Well, the job does pay for the tier two sub, so... Okay, you can do a little job shit. But let's make it clear... Coming to these, uh, you know, three-hour streams where a guy poorly plays video games and is barely funny. That's number one. A job two and uh, the rest three. Thank you. I only work to give you money. See, that's the mindset. I wish more people had that mindset. I wish... Uh, 29 more people had that mindset. Sad. Sad they don't. <laughs> Alright, chat. I'm out of here. I'll be back tomorrow with Final Fantasy 16. And then Discord movie night on Saturday. Uh, just a heads up. Monday and Wednesday next week, I'm not going to be able to stream. I'm only going to be able to stream like thrice. Next week. But... It's better than... Thrice is better than noise. Noise. Freaking noise. Okay. I'm gonna die now. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Unless I die. A lot of death talk. This is, you know what? This is a bummer ending. We need something positive to get this going. We we need a positive note to end on. Let's end on... Um, here we go. Let's end on something positive. Here we go. Check this out. I'm going to ask all three of you to hang on just a minute because we have rather an incredible breaking news story that we're following right now. And this is coming to us out of Colorado. Well, that wasn't positive. Is he okay? Good night.